The problem of induction have plagued philosophers ever since David Hume. But, I mean, we use inductive arguments all the time. So this problem is urgently in need of a solution. If you don't know what an inductive argument is, no worries. Here follows one. One white swan, another white swan, yet another white swan, therefore all swans are white. But there's obviously a big problem here, because we're making an inference from only observing three white swans to the conclusion that all swans are white, including past, present and future swans. So the probability of us being correct in our inference that all swans are white is unfortunately small. There is a solution to this problem proposed by Mill, although he wasn't that fond of it. He proposed that we could add this premise to our argument, that the course of nature is uniform, thus making this argument legitimate. But the obvious problem here is that this premise that we added needs to itself be justified with an inductive argument. But we cannot use this premise to justify itself without falling victim to a vicious circle. So this simply won't do, unfortunately. But I guess someone can make the case that at one point we have a sufficient amount of observed white swans. But thing is that we want necessities, especially when we talk about laws of nature. So this simply won't do. There actually is a way to solve the problem of induction proposed by the Australian philosopher David Armstrong. But in order to do so, we have to postulate universals. Armstrong thinks that induction is a rational type of inference, but it needs to be converted into another form. Whenever we utilize induction in the case of laws of nature, we commonly draw the inference from, let's say, that all observed Fs are Gs to the conclusion that all unobserved Fs are Gs as well. But in order to validate this argument, we need an extra thing that serves not only to explain why all observed Fs are Gs, but also entail that all unobserved Fs will also be Gs. Through this extra thing, an inductive argument can become an inference to the best explanation, thus rational. But this extra thing that I talked about is a further state of affairs that can only be explained through universals. I know it sounds a little bit complex, but hear me out, I think you'll understand. So to begin with, what are universals? Well, I've talked a bit about universals on this channel, but here it is again in a nutshell. Universals are either properties or relations, and the important thing is that universals can be strictly identical with each other. They are the same in each particular instantiation. For instance, according to physics, it is the case that all electrons have a negative charge. They have the same property in the strict sense. All electrons possess the same universal, which is very important. If we go back to our inductive analysis, let's say that we have an inductive argument that all observed Fs also are Gs. We cannot simply extrapolate this to the conclusion that all Fs are Gs without becoming victims to the problem of induction. But if it is the case that F and G both are universals, then we can come to the conclusion out of necessity that all Fs also will be Gs, including the unobserved ones. Because like I said before, the universals are strictly identical to each other. So between the universals of F and G, we have another universal, which is the relation between them. And this relation is this extra thing that I talked about before. Thus, we have converted our inductive argument to an inference to the best explanation, thus rational. The problem of induction is solved. Although, note that the inductive argument that I began with with the swans won't work with this solution. Because, oddly enough, being a swan is not what is considered a natural property. I don't have time to go through the case of natural properties, but if you guys would like to know more about that, please leave a comment down below. In my opinion, this move by David Armstrong is truly genius. 
what a philosopher. But if you don't know what an inference to the best explanation is, then I suggest you watching this video here where I discuss it.